Good morning, kindergartners. It is a marvelous Monday, isn't it? So let's get started. Boys and girls, we only have two more weeks left of these every single day lessons. Our last week will be choice boards and some fun end of the year activities. So I know this hasn't been easy for you, but we are in the home stretch now. I want you to stay motivated, stay doing your, like keep doing your schoolwork at home. Try to give your parents a break. Don't complain about it too much because we really only have this week and next week of it. So we are going to make it through. This has been such a weird end to the year and I appreciate all of you who have been trying your very hardest during it. Okay, that being said, let's get started on our morning message today. You see Ahmed's name up because I was so excited about the teddy bear clinic <laughs> pretend field trip that I forgot to add up the letters in his name on Friday. So we need to have him be our featured student for a second day so we can actually do his name correctly and give it some justice. Okay? All right. Let's get started, though, with the date. So please read out loud and do your best to do this along with me, just as you would if you were at your rug spot in our classroom at Brookview. Okay? It is Monday, May 11th, 2020. Marvelous Mun. What? That's not right. We have to fill something in there. We need to fill in the word day is part of the word Monday, isn't it? You should probably know how to spell day because it's a snap word on list B. So some of the trickier words. So day is this part of Monday right here. So it's d, 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 of course. Then an A, and I'm writing in my lowercase letters, aren't I? And then I need to do a Y. Remember, Y has that tail that goes down below. Marvelous Monday. Hello, my kindergarten students. Soon you will be in first grade. Woo! I am wondering, there's I-N-G, ing, what you are hoping to learn and do as first graders. <gasps> it's going to be such a fun year for you. The first grade teachers at Brookview are so wonderful. You well, are hopefully excited to become first graders. Mrs. K raised butterflies this spring. She did that at her house. This is something we would have done in our kindergarten classroom, but we couldn't because we're not together. So Mrs. K did it at her house and she took videos of herself um, and the butterflies to, um, going through each stage of their life, okay? So I will post a video each day this week to show you the different stages they go through because they aren't born as butterflies. Some of you may know more about that already. I'm going to post the first video today. You don't have to do anything but watch it and talk about it with your families. Of course, if you want to learn more, you can look up more about butterflies, okay? All right, so for attendance today, it has to do with my question here. And it's kind of easy way to start Monday. It's not a big attendance check-in. All I want you to do is a quick sharing. Tell me what you think about moving on to first grade. Do you hope for a certain teacher learning how to do a new skill? Special friends in class are you really hoping for? Um, are you feeling happy or sad to leave kindergarten or really excited or nervous or maybe a combination of all those feelings? Or maybe you haven't thought about it much yet since it's been a weird end to the year. You can write about how you're feeling and what you're wondering about first grade. Or maybe you just have a question about first grade. Like, I don't know about first grade. What's it like? You could share a voice comment with me. You could make a video and talk to me about it. You could draw me a picture with some labels. You decide how you share, but that's going to be our sharing topic for today, okay? All right, and then Ahmed, we better do the consonants and vowels in your name. I'm going to do them up here because we kind of ran out of room here. 
So here's Ahmed's name that I wrote back on Friday, and now we'll count the letters in it. So vowels, A, E, I, O, U, I see an A, and I see an E, that's two vowels. And now consonants, H is a consonant, so is M, and D is a consonant, so three consonants. So we have two plus three. Anybody know what two plus three is right off the top of their head? I bet you do, two plus three more. One, two, three is a whole handful of fingers and a whole handful of letters. It's five. Make an, or down around and give it a hat. Two plus three equals five, five letters of your name. So Ahmed, again, I'm so sorry I didn't do that addition with your name on Friday. I think I was just carried away with the whole teddy bear theme. Um, so please accept my apology and I hope it's okay that we finished up today. Tomorrow we'll go on to a new featured student, okay? Ahmed, as with on Friday, I hope you're doing really well at home and it was super fun to see you at our teddy bear meet. I'm glad you got to join us this time. Kindergartners, here are your jobs that you must get done today for distance learning. You have your math video with Mrs. Coleman, those are always fun. Reading video with me. It's a pretty quick one today. Butterfly video that you just get to check out and discuss with your family. And then your specialist is art, so there's probably an art activity too for Mrs. Gruber. Do you remember our May poem? Are you starting to remember how it goes? We did it, I think, like three times last week. So we're gonna do it a couple times this week too so we get to know it really, really well, all right? All right, get your poetry reading voices out. Here we go. Oh, the sun is out, it's time to play in the merry, merry month of May. Let's catch some bugs as they fly away in the merry, merry month of May. All is well, all is well, all is well each merry day. The plants are growing, their colors are showing in the merry, merry month of May. Such happy days will come our way in the merry, merry month of May. I'll hug my mom on Mother's Day in the merry, merry month of May. All is well, all is well, all is well each merry day. The plants are growing, their colors are showing in the merry, merry month of May. All right, my super smart kindergartners, it is calendar time and we just had a weekend. So nine and 10 are written for us. Yesterday was Mother's Day, wasn't it? Did you do something special to celebrate your mom? I hope so. Moms have so many extra responsibilities this day, these days with having to try to manage or help manage all of your schoolwork on top of the other things they were already doing. So thank you so much to all of the moms in our class for trying so hard to get the schoolwork completed every day on top of all the other jobs and roles that you do throughout your day. It is very much appreciated and definitely making a difference in the life of your children. Okay, kindergartners, we need to write then an 11 since yesterday was the 10th. What comes after 10? Well, that's 11. So to do 11, it's a 1, 10, and 1 extra 1. And then I'm noticing we did not do pattern pieces this weekend since we weren't together. So we left off with butterfly, butterfly, and it looks like next is flower, flower. So Saturday needs a flower. Sunday needs a flower. I got some beautiful flowers that my oldest daughter, Millie, and my husband, Mr. Felt, can't plant it outside for me. They're gorgeous. I was so excited. And then today, it looks like Robin comes after flowers. So it's our first Robin. Tomorrow we'll need another what? Another Robin, won't we? Okay. So, zoop, we have to slide yesterday way down. Here's today, there's tomorrow. What was yesterday? Mother's Day always falls on a Sunday. So yesterday was Sunday. Today is Marvelous Monday. And tomorrow will be Tuesday.
And now it's our May tally time. Let's add some tallies for the weekend too, okay? Since we're doing all the days in May. So Saturday was the 9th. And now we have one, two, three, four standing tall. So the 10th one crosses them all, right? Because 10 is showing two groups of five. So there's another group. But today is the 11th. So we don't need 10 up there. We need one more than 10, which is 11. So you can see quickly that this is 5, 10, and one more is 11. We've had 11 days in the month of May. And for our May dice roll and count, I decided to start with a little bit bigger number today. Do you see it down here? What number is that? I'll give you a hint. It's not 20, because some of you call this number 20 by accident, but it's not a 20. It's a one, so one group of 10 and two extra ones. It's 12. Did you get that all by yourself? I hope so. 12 take away one. So hmm, another way of saying that is what is one less than 12? One less than 12, what comes before 12? It is the date today, 11, May 11th. So 12, take away one. If you have 12 of something and you take away one, you're left with still having 11. So our answer is 11. I put the rectangle right above the number 11 on our graph. Tick tock, match the clock. Our time today is going to be 12 o'clock. So there's 12 o'clock noon and 12 o'clock midnight. At 12 o'clock noon at my house, I'm usually making lunch or eating lunch with my kids. At 12 o'clock midnight, my whole house is sleeping. So that's what's happening at 12 o'clock in many people's houses. To make a 12 o'clock, look at what we have to do. The hour hand is the short hand. That hand has to be pointing to the number 12. And so does the minute hand because it's o'clock and whenever anything ends in o'clock that long minute hand points up to the top of the clock at the number 12. So 12 o'clock looks like this. Isn't that funny? This is how we write the digital time for 12 o'clock. We're going to start with our number 12 which I just said was a 1 followed by a 2. That's the number 12. Then we need to make our dot dot called a colon. And o'clock ends with zero, zero. There's no extra minutes. It's 12 o'clock right on the dot. So zero, zero. And there we have 12 o'clock. Kindergartners, let's count by fives. What coin are we counting if we're counting by fives? Nickel, nickel, thick and fat. You're worth five cents. I know that. So let's pretend we're counting a whole bunch of nickels right now by counting by fives. Give yourself a high five while we count. Here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Keep going. 65, 70. 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. What would come after 100 if we're counting by fives? It's right here, it's this number, 105. And then it would be 110, 115, 120. Can you keep that going? That's tricky, isn't it? The last thing we'll do today is count by twos up to 20. Here we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Down here, this number is 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Give yourself a happy cheer. You made it through another distance learning daily check-in with me. Remember, you're going to share with me how are you feeling about the school you're ending and going on to first grade. And you're going to get your math, reading, butterfly video, and art done today. Okay? That won't take long. You can do it. Have a wonderful, marvelous Monday, and I will see you back here tomorrow morning. Take care, everybody. Do your best.